Last year I joked about putting vegetable oil in my car for an oil change and recently I actually nearly put the wrong oil in the car for real. There's a very slight chance you've done the same for your car so stick around to the video to find out why. Hey, I'm Kevin. This is North Coast Workshop where you'll find content on car modification and DIY. Right, this has got to be cleared up now. This oil specification for VAG cars or Volkswagen Audi Group cars. Now, it wasn't until recently until I had a conversation on Messenger with a friend called Leon that he brought to my attention that there is differences in the oils for these cars. This might be the same for other manufacturers as well, but for today's video, what we're doing is focusing purely on the Volkswagen Audi Group cars, so your Seats, Audis, Skodas and Volkswagens, of course. So I have three engine oils in the garage today, and apart from different grades we've got, so we've got two that are 5W40 and one that's 5W30. There's actually one more difference as well. Now before we get into that properly to find out why, a quick explanation about what the grades mean themselves. So the grade of engine oil basically relates to the viscosity of the oil at different temperatures. The smaller the number, the easier it will flow. And W stands for winter, which basically indicates the viscosity when it's at a colder temperature. So a 5W30 oil will flow easier than a 10W30 oil at normal startup temperatures when it's colder, and a 10W30 oil will flow easier than a 10W40 oil at normal operating temperatures when it's warm because of that number indicated. This is important obviously because naturally engine oils thicken as they cool down and they start to thin out as they warm up. And for many owners at home when they do an oil change themselves, they decide to run the engine first beforehand to get the oil as hot as possible so it's thinner and runs out a lot easier. And it's very common as well that people who take their cars to the track tend to change their 5W30 oil for example to 5W40 oil and this basically gives it increased protection because the temperatures on the track for the engine oil are a lot higher than normal road use. And if you do want to get an even better understanding of engine oil grades, I'll link down below in the description a video from Engineering Explained and they explain very well the whole meaning behind the engine oil grades and what it means for the engine. Fully synthetic is, simple as that. Okay, so more detail. Fully synthetic engine oil is basically a man-made lubricant. What it consists of is a base oil that's then blended together with these additives that have been artificially created, and this just offers superior performance for the oil. Now, semi-synthetic oil is basically a combination of fully synthetic oil with mineral oils. So it doesn't have the full potential benefits of fully synthetic oil, but it is a little bit cheaper because of the process being made. So when you're going out to buy new engine oil, whether it's in a box or a carton, you'll probably see the approvals and recommendations on the box as well. Now this is basically just it stating the suitability of this engine oil based on the manufacturer's recommendations for their engine. And now we'll delve into the full specification list for Volkswagen Audi Group engines. So this will be a quick summary of the ones that are relevant to ourselves. So 501.01 is for petrol and diesel engines up to 1999. This has now been replaced by 502 and 505, which have improved results. 502.00 was most widely used between the 1990s up to 2019 and this is mostly recommended for petrol engines. There are some 2018 models in newer which may be a different spec so just make sure you check to be sure. 503.00 and 503.01 these have both been discontinued and they've been now replaced by 502.00 and 504.00. 504 is for petrol engines and probably the most commonly used across the range. It's also known as Long Life 3 and the purity in it helps minimise the carbine buildup inside the engines. This is mostly used between 1990s to 2019, but again from 2018 and onwards, just check to make sure it's not a different spec. 505 is for diesel engines, this is for the older TDI, TD and non-turbo diesel engines up to 2004. This is not suitable for DPF exhaust systems. 505.01, this is for diesel engines again, 2004-2006, this is a kind of less commonly used diesel and it's for engines equipped with this pump juice TDI injection system. Only oil to be used in the VW 5 litre V10 TDI engine, nothing else. 506, this has been now replaced by 507, 506.01 has been replaced by 505.01 and 507 depending on the application for the engine and then 507 is the most commonly used diesel engine oil, these are ones with a DPF because it's got low ash and a low saps engine oil system inside it. It's also known as Long Life 3. 
Then we've got 508, this is for petrols only from 2017 onwards. It's been mainly developed for performance and fuel efficiency, only available as a 0W20 grade oil, and it's not backwards compatible. That's a very important point. It can't be used in older petrol engines. 509.00 is a diesel's newest version. Again, as 508, it's developed for performance and fuel efficiency, only available as a 0W20 grade, and again, not backwards compatible with older diesel engines. Then finally, 511.00, a very new oil that's been developed. This is for petrol-only engines, and it's developed for fuel efficiency and for these GPFs, the gasoline protector fillers. This usually comes as 5W40 or 0W40 only. So for the majority of cars on the road just now, whether it's petrol or diesel, the specifications you're probably looking for is the 504 for petrol engines and the 507 for diesel engines. I'll leave a link down below in the description for the page that I got all this information from if you want to see it in more detail. And as I keep saying throughout this video, it's really important to check the specification that's required for your vehicle before you go and purchase any engine oil. Just wanted to say to leave down below in the comments any dealings you've had with engine oil, whether you've known about these engine oil specifications or not. This is something I've not been fully aware of myself. I do tend to check and I, like I said, I might have done this before wrong in the past. So yeah, give me cheek down below in the comments if you want or leave me your experiences as well and let me know what you think of this specification and whether you've been aware of it yourself. Now it's not the end of the world if you have put the wrong specification oil in the engine. This won't be as bad as, say, having the correct oil in the engine, but then missing two or three service intervals. So don't worry if you have done it briefly between a service interval. As long as the car has been serviced regularly, then this shouldn't cause any lasting damage. But if you've been using the wrong specification oil in the engine for a length of time, there's a good chance it might have caused a few problems, such as oil leaks, overheating, issues with fuel economy, and also damage to the engine itself, such as the pistons and the bearings. And if you've been using petrol-only oil in a diesel engine, it could also cause issues with DPF becoming blocked up as well. Now, the easiest way, if you're lucky enough to have the manual that came with the car, is to check in here. It will state the specification of oil to use in the car. It might also state the brand, the preferred brand to use in the car as well. And also in the service interval book, it will say how often the oil needs changed in that engine. Other places you can check as well under the bonnet would be on the engine itself or the oil cap, or sometimes on the slam panel at the front of the engine bay as well. And if you can't find the booklet or there's nothing under the bonnet either, you can always pop online. Sometimes these car parts websites, they have a place where you put your reg number in and it will state straight away what lubricants and fluids need for your car. And it will say the exact brand and specification needs for your engine oil as well. If we take a quick look inside the manual here just now, we can see what it's saying for the engine oil grade to use for the car. So depending on the conditions the car is going to be exposed to, it's got different grades that it recommends. And then on the following page, we've also got the different specifications for the petrol and diesel engines, and also if the diesel engine has a DPF on it as well. So on the oil cap on my car, on the engine, it's got the words Castrol printed on it. This meaning Castrol is preferred oil to go in my car as long as it sticks to specifications that are listed in my manual. But there's a few other oils that are known in the VAG community, one of them being Quantum. Now Quantum is a well-known oil getting used more and more these days, and I believe it's getting used just now in Volkswagen and Audi garages for regular services on those cars. Triple QX, now this is a lesser known brand. I've seen it being recommended as well. And I was also told by someone online they used to deliver for Volkswagen and Audi garages and very often they were dropping off this oil at those garages as well, meaning it could potentially have been used before Quantum took over. And then finally we have the most well-known one and probably the most highly recommended one as well, which is Miller's Nano Drive. Now this oil is probably the best performing out of all three of them. It's also the one that is most expensive as well. I think it retails just now between 60 and 70 quid for five litres, whereas the Quantum comes in roughly between 30 and 40 quid and the Triple QX is around the same price as well. But at the end of the day, the oil that you choose for your car is totally up to you. As long as it meets the specifications that are stated in the manual and that the grade the oil is correct for your car, whether it's 5W30 or 5W40, for example, there should be no issues with your engine whatsoever. If you want to splash out and get a higher grade, high performing oil like Miller's Nano Drive, because you plan on taking the car on track or use it for fast road use, which I don't condone, then there's no reason why you shouldn't do that either. But other well-known oils like the Quantum, like the Triple QX, will perform equally well in your engine for day-to-day -day use. Now, after totally geeking out on you there about all the oil information, then why not sit back, relax, and watch this video here, where I go through a modification for my door cards, where I cover them in this nice diamond stitch material. As always, hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe down below to catch more videos from the channel in the future, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers. <music>